Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is John, or Last Frontier Bricks, and this is my review of the of the 2022 Lego Jurassic Par Jurassic World Jurassic Park T Rex Breakout. It is set number seven six nine five six. Comes with one thousand two hundred twelve pieces. Retails for one hundred dollars, and was the very first Jurassic World set to be marked eighteen plus. Yeah, the front box art. It has the usual all bl all black cut front with just a little bit of yellow O on the bottom. Of course, with the Lego and Jurassic Park logos, and has the set in its full glory. It actually, looks really beautiful just just from the front box art. The side box art, actually one of my personal favorites, as it has the Jurassic as the Jurassic Park T Rex in a in a very very well done. An art artist uh, artistic drawing on the the top box art has the has the figures the extra size of the front hood of the Ford Explorer and one thing I noticed was that every side of the box has the name T Rex Breakout in different language. Don't ask me though. Don't ask me to identify which ones they are. Here's the other. Side, I believe pretty sure that one's Spanish, but again, different language. And the back of the box shows off the the the, the full set in uh, shows off the full set at a different angle, along with the dimensions, with it being a 23 inches long. Well, if you have the T Rex's tail completely straight and up to six inches high, along uh, with Basically recreating one of my personal favorite shots of the T-Rex scene with Alan and distracting the T-Rex with the flare. And then the Lego, ver uh, the Lego version of the set of that very same shot. So, let's go ahead and get this thing open. Fortunately, this thing does have the, the tape, so you don't have to ruin the box if you don't want to. As it, well, although it does have the the push the, the you can barely see the outline, but it does have the pushed tabs just in, key, in case you want uh, ju uh, just in case you want to fold the box back up. So let's see, we got one, well, uh, technically two, three, four, five, six, okay, seven. We got eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's the instructions, and there is oh, there's bag number twelve. So a total of a dozen bags. For, uh, they've got the instruction manual and the yeah. Uh, the cardboard, the cardboard wrapping, which they've got, gone to do over uh, quite a bit, especially with these hundred dollar or more sets. So let's take a look at the instruction manual. Ooh, ooh, got me like, got me like the, uh, I like the, I like the art on the on the front of this one. De doesn't show up the set of the set, but it's definitely Jurassic Park theme with the Jurassic Park logo in a forest. And they do the same thing on the on the back. Nice, like that. Oh, and they have, ooh, nice. They got like a, uh, um, they got like a uh, a UCS style. Uh, uh breakdown uh, breakdown of this set before you build the thing. All right, and then we go straight into the instructions. Anything in the back? Uh, nope. Just the usual. Uh, Oh, okay. Looks like it. Oh, okay. It looks like you gotta actually gotta get a little. Uh, it's kind of like the uh, the galaxy the galaxy explorer where you get uh, you'll get a little no uh, uh, details on those on the set as you as you go through the build. Nice. I like that. I like that a lot. All right. So, obviously. Oh. Okay. I only just saw this. You you got the you know, there's your sticker sheet. That's a lot of stickers. Uh, for, especially for a hundred, especially for a hundred dollars set. Looks like there aren't going to be, okay, not 
It's not like, not that there, I was, I was going to say it, it looks like there aren't going to be any printed pieces, but look, but it does look like the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Ian Malcolm quote is going to be printed, along with the Lego Jurassic Park, Lego and Jurassic Park logo is right next to it. But other than that, it looks like all the other details are going to be printed, including the, the T-Rex's eyes. I am not looking forward to putting those stickers on. I'll be the first to admit, I am not a fan of stickers whatsoever. I was really hoping you know, that a lot of these details were going to be printed. Unfortunately, no. But, looks like I've got quite a bit, build, a bit, quite a bit of building to do. So once I'm finished with that, we'll take a look at the set, starting with the figures. So, before we get into the minifigures, guys, I'd like to point out one thing I found rather interesting with this build while I was building it. Uh, you know how most of the times, uh, you, uh, for each bag of pieces, the first thing to have you build is the minifigures. Well, this time they did just the opposite. The first, uh, when you open the bags, and in this one, the first thing you'd work on is the main build. As you can see, it's starting with bag one on page eight. But, but at the end, but they saved the minifigures for the end. There's page 24. And that's when you finally put together the minifigures. So I found that to be a little interesting. Alright, so going with the figures in the order you make them. First up, we got Tim here. And as you can see, he is absolutely covered in mud. So this, so obviously this figure is inspired by after the T-Rex absolutely destroys the vehicle and flips it upside down. Because... As you can see, he's absolutely covered in mud, which is not a big surprise because he was basically swimming in the mud uh, by the end uh, in the scene. And he actually has rather, um, uh, you may notice that with the exception of the mud, his print is actually pretty close to what you got in the, in the, the early uh, Jurassic Park set with the wrap. With the raptor in the kitchen scene. In fact, I actually have that figure right here with me, as I do have that set. So a few, a uh, few co uh, color swaps instead for the inner shirt, but the main shirt is actually pre and pretty, and pretty much the same. But of course, as you notice, while they have the same hairpiece, um, the new, the new figure is a far darker. Color brown, probably to cut. Uh, uh, I've indicated that even his hair is com covered in mud. Even his his whole left arm is completely mud covered. So I love that little. So I love that little detail that uh, he is just soaked in mud. And of course, he does have a very proper scared face. And he does have a alternate face on far happier. And I think one that goes with a fun little addition for him. They do include his night vision goggles. This is actually the first time in quite a while where I've seen like the classic pilot helmet and I think it's the first time in green and I've ever uh, first time in green I've ever seen it, but it certainly works for this this piece and I do believe those night vision uh, uh, the night vision attachment is unique to this set but it does it cer it certainly looks the way it does in a movie and it as you can see it folds down and it just looks cool it just looks great and actually I'll take a look at it well I was going to say that the that the eyepiece actually well you can you can probably get it where it basically lines up with the, uh, with the uh, with the figure's eyes, but it does fold down a bit too a bit too low to be around around the money, but it certainly works. And next up we have Lex, who again is absolutely covered in mud. Her just instead with Tim, where it was left arm covered in mud, it's her right. And she also has a very, eh, a rather nervous face. Also very appropriate. Uh, one thing I was a little interested about is that, much like Sam, she uses the kid, the kid thing play. I actually thought that 
They would have gone with the teen legs for her. She is noticeably older than Le than Tim. But also her hair is absolutely mud covered. I have the uh the 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 rap the rap no uh, the raptor rampage figure of her as well. There is some hers is a bit more noticeable difference in the, in this and the difference of the figures as the prints on her uh, as the prints on her t shirt are quite a bit more subtle than they are or in the raptor or pet in the raptor set and as and as you notice while her pants in the uh, while well, her legs in the raptor set are is more of a a bluish gray hers are completely mud colored and the, ooh, here is the back print for her also with a much happier face probably a, a post rescue face is and also again completely covered in mud very accurate to the scene and for our third figure we have dr ian malcolm he's got he got a pretty good uh, tor torso torso print is in such and she looks nice and wet from from all the rain I actually added the uh the little necklace he wears just a along with just a little bit of chest and just a little bit of chest hair. He's got a nice worried fit. A a thing. He's must. This is probably. Uh, I imagine this face is was being inspired by. Oh great! Now the T Rex is interested in me. He, he's got a good. He's got a good messy. Yeah, hair hair piece on much like he's got in the movie. Yeah, yeah. Also pretty good. The. Uh, also, also print on the back, along with more hints of water. No printing on his legs or arms, but I think that's okay. I think that's okay. It wasn't too crazy to begin with, and he does have a alternate the face, which a, a with a much more angry, determined look. All in all, pretty good looking figure. And for our final figure, of course, we have Doctor Alan Grant. Also, a very good looking. And torso print for him, very wet, and he's got a good looking bandana, no arm or leg printing on him either, and a much, and a very determined face. Of course, he's got the, his classic egg hat, hat for the Pandora, of course, and naturally, because of that, he doesn't have a alternate face, because of course, that would be shown on the back, the back of his head, which would, of course, be rather weird. And have you ever seen a guy who has a, an extra face on the back of his head? And more water print on the back of of his torso. And while they don't uh, provide a extra torso, a extra face, they do provide need a good, a, a nice looking hair piece for him. This might be the same one from uh, that ends up in Dominion, just in a a more alive looking co color, not as you know, not as grayed out and it's in Dominion, obviously. It takes place, what, I don't know, 30 years after after this movie? I don't remember. But, yeah, it looks it looks good on on him. Of course, of course, it makes sense that they include a hairpiece for him. He does end up losing that iconic hat of his in this in the scene depicted in this set to that, to a T-Rex blowing, the T-Rex blowing on it, of all things. And I actually forgot to mention this with... Uh, Ian, but both Ian and Dr. Malcolm come with a very simple flair. But I think, but I think it certainly works. All in all, up, uh, almost, almost the perfect uh, uh, figure lineup for this set, uh, for this scene. The only one, uh, I think the only, I think the one disappointment. That's uh, actually probably the one disappointment I have this with this set is that. It doesn't include that blood-sucking lawyer. But all in all, good figure lineup. Alright guys, with the minifigures out of the way, I'm going to break this <laughs> set down part by <laughs> uh, build by build. Starting with the T-Rex. And this is actually, a pr this was actually a pretty fun build. And it's actually got more probability than I thought it would. You got the, the tail is on a pair of ball joints. I can only go... Right, same with the midsection, but the but the but the back 
actually has quite a bit of motion, so you can get quite a few different angles out of this thing. And then the very tip is, while it's on a main clip, it's also on one of these little clips, so that you can get that to rotate a bit as well. Uh, the, uh, the legs, on the other hand, are a bit of a different situation. They are on the larger ball joints with the click system. So actually you can get a good bit of motion from the main part. Uh, one thing I was a little bit disappointed was that, that the knees uh, don't have any articulation at all. This whole section here is just one big build, so you can't actually bend the knees. But the feet also have a good range of motion, the, oh, along with the toes. You got three on the side and then one on each, and then one smaller one on the side of each foot. So good range of motion. Uh, one thing I would like to point out is the hands. And while you can, while you get a good range, good range of motion, you know, with the main arm as it's on a ball joint, you can only you know, twist the hands side to side. Which, be honest, is actually atomically correct, despite what you see in the movies. Uh, t uh, when it comes to like the carnivorous dinosaurs, where they actually have the arms, they didn't have the same range of motion as our as our hands, as they didn't have the, the muscles in their arms and wrists to be able to twist it. So, so they go to only hold their hands like like this. They didn't, you're going to again to, to go go from ver from vertical the fingers vertical to horizontal unless they ended up breaking their wrists. So this is actually atomically correct for the dinos for the T Rex. He could only have his stuffy little hands it's in this position, you know, with, uh, with again without breaking his wrist. Uh, interesting look for the head. The, uh, the, he, oh, his, oh, as you can see, and, well, didn't mean to actually do that, but I guess it kind of helps. You can see how his head attach, attaches to the rest of the body with your classic uh, click uh, click base connector. Or I believe the mouth is on uh, the uh, this. The uh, the same kind of jo uh, joint as the tip of the tail. It's got good amount good amount of teeth in there. Here for the T Rex, actually colored in the tongue. Uh, as I was afraid, as I was, as I heard and was afraid of, uh, the eyes are stickers, very tiny stickers, by the way. Although strangely enough, they weren't the stickers that gave me the most amount of grief. You heard putting them on. But actually, mm -mm, and you guys may notice that he's got quite a similar. A bit of a similar color scheme to the giant T-Rex, with the T-Rex rampage said, with the with the giant build T-Rex and the Jurassic Park gate. Um, the, he does have a bit more brown on him and than you, uh, than he it did on the big one, but I uh, but I do like this color scheme, color scheme going from the from the light tan to the uh, the nougat to the dark, uh, to the brown. Very very good color. Yeah. A uh, uh, very good uh, color scheme. All in all, very good looking T-Rex. And next up is probably my personal favorite bi uh, build in this set. I won't be surprised if it's a lot of people's. It's the classic Jurassic Park Ford Explorer. Wonderful looking build. Well, that unfortunately is basically completely covered in stickers. Actually, as I mentioned, those eyes weren't the thing that gave me the most grief it was these it was these dog gone, it was these doggone license plates on both this and the destroyed version of the vehicle so actually very surprised that those were the ones that gave me the most grief uh, while I did say they were covered it was covered in stickers I was only uh, I wasn't completely correct with basically all the details being stickers I was only mostly correct as fortunately all the hubcaps here for the wheels, for, both for this one and the destroyed one, are all prints, which is I'm which I'm very happy about, because I, I would be very proud of basically putting the exact same sticker on eight of these wheels. And I have to, I have tested this thing on the ground. It's got it's very very it's very very smooth movement, but as you can see, it rolls around pretty well. Well. Also, love all, love all the little details like the rope age on the front on the front lights, the the uh, the one um, uh, rear view mirror on the front. At the top, it can be easily removed as it's only held on by four points. Means, 
buttons, and you got some pretty good details here. You got the interactive CD-ROM screen on the uh, CD-ROM screen on the front that Lex pointed out. Love the little details here of the little glasses in the in, in the car, or in, in that now iconic scene of that thump, thump, thump of the approaching T-Rex, and even cooler is you have the flash is in the back you have the flashlight to hold uh, that Lex finds in the back which of course only makes matters worse got a couple of uh, uh, jumpers in the car to be able to sit down a few figures I don't think I was ever able to get two figures in the front let me see if I can get do it this time um, there's Ian, let me see if I can fit Alan in the in the front with him. I don't, like I said, I honestly don't remember if I was able to do it. It might be a bit too cramped for that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think, yeah, it's a bit too cramped to be able to get two people in, in the same, in the same row. But you can't, but you can't fit two, uh, no, two figures, in, at least two figures in the car. Let me see if I can get both Lex and... I will get both Flex and uh, Tim in the front. Um, you know, Flex might be a bit difficult with that hair piece. All right, let's see. And there's Tim. Nope, not even stand. Nope, not even standing up. You can't get two people in the same row. So, well, at, so well, at least you couldn't fit. At least you can fit two figures in there. A little disappointing that that you can't fit into like. Like if you had all three figure, uh, all three figures, Lex, Tim, and uh, the blood sucking lawyer, uh, Gennaro, you can fit. You can actually fit all three characters in there. But at least you can fit two. So yeah, a little disappointing. Like I said, covered in stickers. Like I love that. Like the the giraffe, of course, the Jurassic Park logo and print on there. Er, uh, both vehicles have a different. And the number for this one, you got number five. If there's the back stick, there's back stickers. All in all, a very fun little build. And I, I have heard that there are a few subtle differences between this version and the one that we just got with the Triceratops set. So I'm actually quite curious to find out what those differences are. And here is the destroyed dress, uh, Ford Explorer. One nice little. All uh, detail here is you notice how one of them is missing a tire. Is missing a tire, probably in reference to a reference of the T Rex, you know, toying around with the vehicle and then almost basically eating one of the, uh, basically eating this particular tire. And like like I said, all the hubcaps are printed. Uh, one thing I'm, I'm probably I'm a little disappointed with. And probably a lot of people when they buy this set is no, you can't. Uh, that no, Lego doesn't provide the parts to build this into a, a another full Ford Explorer. It's just this droid version, and it's actually a quite a bit different build. Here's what technically the top half looks like. As you can see, like I said, no extra details. Actually, you can't even even fit Lex and Tim in there, even if you just pop off the pop off this part it's still it's still not exactly big enough to be able to fit Lex well maybe well maybe I'm wrong let me check let me check uh, nope text nope Tim's too no nope, Tim's too tall well well, well well let's see well let me get this into view uh, let's see nope they are too t well gone well, kind of. You can kind of film in in there if you took it up, took it off, bit make it a bit more scene accurate. But yeah, these are actually ended up being two rather different bit, or two very different builds. If I can get this back on. There we go. So basically, what you did was you built the cent center section right here, basically coming with the Jurassic Park section. And then, and then you built these two, uh, the two wheel sections separate, and then you, and then you basically brought them together to, uh, via to uh, the the click, uh, the uh, the click joint sections. 
So very different build from the actual from the full vehicle. You know, so that there are there is a basic a minifigure displays a display piece here on top. That's so for so you can have your T Rex so come over and basically stop and basically stand on the thing and basically stand on the thing. So rather interesting build for a destroyed Ford Explorer. And finally, we have the large display display area. Love all like the water detail all on all on this on this thing. You may notice that you you build, basically build out two large footprints for the T Rex as he's stomping out of the area. Here's where you have the destroyed Ford Explorer, and here is where the full this well, Ford Explorer would go. Also, view these uh, small cheese. Uh, one by two cheese watch pieces. This to hold the Ford Explorer in place. As your printed tile, have very happily printed tiles, with a very very uh, a very very appropriate quote for me, and Malcolm. Boy, do I hit being right all the time. Love that Lego Jurassic Park printed tile. Printed tile. These, uh, one thing I'd like to point out is this fence. This is a rather interesting build. You basically built it upside down and then flipped it over to connect it all. Oh, cool. Over here you have the T-Rex paddock plaque. Simple bit, yeah, but not easily done. But easily done. Uh, one thing I was a little bit disappointed is that the forest area is basically a facade, as it as all the trees connect to the very back of the, the build. Some uh, some of the plants even connect right on the defense wall. And I will say, I got a little grief from these the, these dark green plants as they are only connected by one stud, uh, technically connected by one stud. And as you can see, that's how easily this thing can come up, can come off. Uh, it, it can ask one stud to, to the to the fence, and then you got one uh, one piece holding it on. And, and like I said, that's how easily that it can come off. I try I try to fully uh, fully attach the plant, because one thing you'll see is as much as I want to have the plant fully attached, it just does not want to stay there. So a little bit of a grief. Nice little detail here. You got the uh, the uh, the ch and the chain and post for where that poor ill-fated goat used to be. But of course, no goat. Uh, unfortunately, no goat. <laughs> oh, then you got again. I like to come back to the coming back to the fence. But I uh, got two of these. These warning ten thousand volts. Oh, old. Oh, uh, plates. Unfortunately, that these are stickers. Then you got the uh, the the warning lights for the elect for the uh, for the electric fence, which played quite a critical role in one of, if not the most heart pounding scenes, in in the mo and the movie. Though not part of this, though not part of this scene, it was certainly connected to the electric fence. Which was actually kind of odd, and it ended up, like I said, it well, being one of the most heart-pounding scenes in the movie, as it, despite it involving absolutely no dinosaurs. And I, and yeah, a couple of these, no feeding, no flash, no yelling, in, in a stick in stickers. Like I said, basically every detail, with the exception of the hub of the hubcaps, is all print of is all printed, but. But I but this was quite an interesting build. Of course, this is where the majority of your pieces go. Here's what the underside looks like. Nothing's uh, nothing too crazy. I don't want to. Oh, oh, a little interested in for why you have this red two by two circular plate there. But all in all, pretty good looking build. It does what it needs to do. All right, and here is the set in its entirety as Lego intended you to display it. 
And boy, when you throw in the T-Rex, the figures, and the vehicles, this really makes this scene come to life. This looks absolutely fantastic. I love the way this looks. Cool. Yes. Basically from every basically from every angle. You got like the kids behind there behind the vehicle. You got Alan heroically, heroically yeah, stand in front of T-Rex getting him to getting him to try to get away and get him away from the kid. Away from the kids. Here's how it looks from behind here how it looks from behind. Again, you probably didn't exactly intend you to uh to have it set up like this from behind the fence but even then it look it looks it looks good even despite you know, the plants kind of covering everything up but really does look fantastic pretty much from every angle you look at this thing And here are the extra pieces that you get with the set. Interestingly, you get they included an extra hair piece for Tim, but I think my personal favorite pieces is that they provide extra for is of course a one of the the the, uh, the cables for the electric fence, and they do provide an extra uh, heads uh, uh, attachment for the three D uh, for the the night vision goggles. So with that, oh, so that basically covers everything about this set. Let's go into the final review. So, what are my final thoughts on this set? Um, person, personally, well, despite having only spent, you know, eight, having only spent spent eighty five for, for for Lego VIP points, even with a hundred bucks, I feel like I got my hey, money's worth of Lego. And certainly fun of uh, building a uh, building this set and just displaying it. Like I said, this thing looks fantastic. I def uh, like I said, I definitely feel like I got my money's, money's worth out of this. This feels like I got my money's a uh, hundred dollars worth of uh, worth of Lego. And like I said, this is a beautiful display piece. Uh, it might it might be a bit. I might be a little hesitant then to buy this as a gift for. Uh, for a kid, and as it is mainly a display piece, but it does have, well, but it does have uh, some play, uh, some play uh, function, uh, some play function with it. It's a good display for if uh, for if you want if you want to play around with it with it. It's not like everything is permanently attached to it. Like you can remove the T Rex and uh, so the the figures and uh, and the and the full old Ford Explorer, and just play around, play around with the with those. But I, it doesn't play. Have, it's not exactly meant for play. It's just something that you that you can play around with if you want to. But if you're a Jurassic Park enthusiast who loves Lego and wants something for a dis for display, this is definitely the route to go. Oh, it is a very iconic scene. In, and it basically captures almost everything from that scene that you would want to. Like, it's, well, like I said, though, I think the one thing that I'm a little disappointed about with this set is uh, that, like, you did that, they didn't bump it up to like I don't know, like 120, and then include like Gennaro and the the bathroom he ends up hiding in. Other than, other than that, I love this. Other than that, I'd say that this set is about as good as you could ask for. Her at a one hundred dollar price point. Again, the one uh, actually there is one other thing I'm a little disappointed about. It's that it's all those stickers. Cause I guess like you take a look at this thing. That's a lot of stickers for a one hundred dollar set. So and so that is my review for this one hundred dollar T Rex breakout set. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did. I hope you give it a like uh, on the end screen in just a few seconds. There will be a couple, a couple of links. The one on the left will be the video YouTube recommends specifically for you. The one on the right will be some more of my content, uh, more of my content, and the one in the middle will be a quick way for you guys to to subscribe, hey, if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later, everybody.